Good morning. morning. Sorry, we're a couple of minutes late getting started. We were having some microphone issues. If anyone would like to close your eyes to join in prayer, if you're welcome, or if you just want to stare at me, you can do that too. (laughs) February the month of love. John 4.16 tells us, God is love, and whoever abides in love abides in God, and God abides in him. God is love, and all who live in love live in God, and God lives in them. Many of us were not taught this important scriptural knowledge, but this is so important. Even if we've heard this scripture, sometimes we forget. When we remember that God's love resides in us, we are prompted to express God's love into this world, and our world 
becomes more loving. Remember, we are the light and love of God. Let us always remember that we are God's love and shine our love light as often and as powerfully as we can. We know love is the answer. Thank you. Good morning. Is everybody ready to stand and sing? Holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Let me love, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Let me love, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me live in a holy, holy way. Let me live, let me live in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me know that love is all around me. No, let me know that love is all around me. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Let me serve, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me know that love can heal us all. Let me know, let me know that love can heal us all. Oh, let me share the good that's overflowing. Let me share, let me share the good that's overflowing. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. And let me care for those around the world. Let me care, let me care for those around the world. Oh, let my steps reveal a path of peace. Let my steps, let my steps reveal a path of peace. Oh, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me serve in a holy, holy way. Oh, let me love in a holy, holy way. Let me love, let me love in a holy, holy way. Sorry, I had some old lyrics and I, I forgot I was singing from those. So if, sorry Please about just that. Keep, no, don't apologize. You're keeping us on our toes. We're paying attention. That's my we job. You can't just have it all just work perfectly every week or otherwise we'd be go to sleep, right? So, absolutely. All right. Let's read our vision statement like we mean it. We are realizing miracles through living our oneness with God and each other. Thank you and please be seated carefully. Don't fall off your chairs or anything this morning. All right. Welcome to Unity of East Louisville. And wherever you are on your spiritual journey, your spiritual adventure, you are welcome here. I don't know if we have anybody new today, but if you're new, welcome. And we're glad to have you and hope that you got a welcome packet if you are new. And we welcome you if you're watching online. And we hope that anybody who's not feeling well gets well soon. Um, we're thinking of you, and if you can come and join us in person sometime soon, we'd love to have you. Um, if you haven't already done so, silence your cell phones, please. And I wanted to thank everybody who makes this possible. You wouldn't believe how much goes into getting one service, <laughs> one service underway each week, from the speaker to the musicians to the sound and tech people, the greeters and ushers and the chaplains. There's a lot that goes into it. And then during the week when you're not here, people are behind the scenes, especially Pat and Charlie this week, and my husband Tim came in and did a lot of lighting work, changing light fixtures and changing all kinds of things, bulbs, and doing all sorts of handyman work. So thank you guys for doing that all week long. Really appreciate it. Pat is here just about every day. I mean, he might as well just set up a bedroom back there because he's just here all the time doing work. Really appreciate you, Pat, and Charlie. 
So thanks, guys. And thanks to Don for being here every week doing our music. We really appreciate him and his beautiful music. And today we have special guest musician Melba Harris, and she's going to be playing and singing her own um, written songs that she's written. She sings beautifully. So thank you for coming back, Melba. We're glad to have you. And thank you, Reverend Valerie Mansfield. She's going to be speaking on Mastering Life, and she also led us in a great strategic planning meeting yesterday. So um, we, had a, we had a pretty good group. We would have loved to have more people, but of course we were happy with what we had, and we got a lot done. We talked and talked and talked. <laughs> uh, let's see, we've got a couple of announcements, um, more than a couple. Today's Hope and Compassion Day. Um, that is, for those of you who don't know, we collect, um, we chose some charities to, to support each month, and we have a basket up front, and we drop special donations that are separate from your regular weekly offerings to the church. And they are for Eastern Area Community Ministries, which houses the Dare to Care Food Bank, and Mary Hurst Gir Girls School, which houses young ladies who need some help. And then also um, Numinous, I never know exactly what the name of it is, but it's the one that does the Peaceful Cities Meditation in the fall. We support all three of those charities through your donations. Um, and then the other charity, that, charity, it's the school, Crosby Middle School, that we support. Um, we support them separately through a couple of collections um, during the year. And right now, Colleen has got us started with the sweatshirt collection. We did that uh, last year, if you remember. We collect the navy blue, black, and white sweatshirts that are crew neck, not, not uh, hoodies, please, because I don't think they're supposed to wear hoodies in the school. Um, and adult sizes, small and medium, and we also need a, a few large and extra large. And we'll have, she's got the basket or box back there. So we've got the collection already started, so we'll do that for the next couple of weeks, and we'll let you know when, when we'll finish up with that. So we appreciate your uh, support for Crosby Middle School. Um, let's see. We've got um, also wanted to mention Pete Peterson. He used to be our pianist, for those of you who've been around for a while. He's going through some serious health challenges, so keep him in your prayers. Um, anybody who's on Facebook probably already knows, um, or you can look and see what's going on. Um, let's see, we also have Valerie started The Amazing Powers Within last Wednesday, and that'll go through um, Wednesday, March 27th from 6 to 8, Wednesday evenings, and you can also get a Zoom link if you want to stay home and listen in. Uh, the annual March meeting, which is when we do the voting, this year we only have to vote for Colleen to stay on as the alternate on the board, so thank you to the board for staying on um, in their position so you don't have to vote for anybody else. But the annual meeting is very important for you to come and talk about whatever issues you have on your mind. Ask the board questions. The board will present some of their um, information. They'll tell you some things about the finances. So it's really important that you come and participate in that, if at all possible. And that's right after the service on March 10th. Uh, Love and Action Appreciation Lunch is going to be on March 24th, right after the service. And we'll keep reminding you that's going to be um, later on in March. But just wanted you to put that on your calendars now. If you're a volunteer, we'd love to have you and say thank you. Um, and I just wanted to reiterate that uh, Charlie's got the men's group going on first and third Saturdays of the month. So if there are any new guys who've just shown up and you want to join the men's group. All this information is online. If you um, get the email weekly newsletter, that will tell you all the details that you need to know. And if you don't get the weekly newsletter, please sign up for it at the back on one of the clipboards back there. And if you want to, vo if you want to volunteer for anything like usher greeter or chaplain or any of those things, please, please, please let us know. Or look at the back. I'm sure there's a sign-up sheet for that too. Or reading the Daily Word. There's lots to do around that you can get involved with. So thank you for everything everybody does. And now I think it's time for some silly jokes to lighten the mood up in here. Don always picks the perfect dad joke. In the past, everyone owned horses and only the rich owned cars. Now everyone has a car and only the rich have horses. My, how the stables have turned. <laughs> Gotta love a corny joke. All right, the other side of the card says, a bossy man walks into a bar. He orders everybody around. I love that. That's great. <laughs> And the last one, I found this joke about Lent, and I, and I realized it has started, so I hope everybody's giving up 
all kinds of very bad things that you're doing in your lives, right? Yeah. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so this joke says, um, has your diet changed, the doctor asked the 87-year-old woman who was being admitted to the hospital. Yes, she said. For Lent, I gave up whipped cream on my jello, hard candy, and my two beers a night. She paused, and look where it's gotten me. So keep that in mind when you're giving things up. Greet each other in love and joy. If you make your way back to your seats, we're going to sing some more. I behold the Christ in you. I behold the Christ in you, here the life of God I see. 
I can sing a great peace to I can see you whole and free I behold the Christ in you I can see this as you walk I see this in all you do I can see this as you talk I behold God's love expressed I can see you filled with power I can see you ever blessed See Christ in you hour by hour I behold the Christ in you I can see that perfect one led by god in all you do i can see god's work is done good morning today's word is faith i carry my faith in god with me throughout the day I keep my faith at the forefront of my awareness, taking a few minutes in the morning to pause, breathe deeply, and place my awareness on the presence of God. I feel energized and strengthened. I expect all good things. As the day progresses, I pause again for a moment or two and affirm, God and I are one. I have faith that God, my source, is with me in everything I think, I say, and I do. At night, I look back on the events of the day and savor the moments in which God's presence felt especially strong. I have faith that awakening from a restful night's sleep, hearing a kind remark, enjoying time in nature, or spending quality time with loved ones are ways to feel the presence of God within and around me. The scripture is from 1 Chronicles 23, verse 30. And they shall stand every morning, thanking and praising the Lord, and likewise at evening. And again, today's word is faith. Our Creator which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors and leave us not in temptation but deliver us from error for thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. the love I am God is 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 the peace I am 
God is the peace I am. God is the peace I am. God is the peace I am. God is the beauty 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 I am. God is the power 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 I am. God is the wisdom 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 I am. God is the love 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 I am. And now, as we just take a breath, realizing the power that is our truth. And I'm going to read from the magnet that was created to remind us that our prayers are powerful, that our words are powerful. And as we live a spiritual life, we are infused in power. And so as one of ours wrote, to calm ourselves and help the world, let's personally take time to breathe in peace. Breathe out love. On each exhale, spread love to family, friends, our cities, our countries, our world, and especially to regions impacted by war and natural disasters. And so as we join collectively together with our power of prayer, we breathe in peace. We breathe out love. We align our power, that nervous system that runs along our spine, to create a magnificent energy aligning together with power. Breathing in peace. Breathing out love. And actually take a deep breath in Feel it, hear it in your being. And now exhale love into the world. 
feel it. Know that that is possible. That we can breathe in and breathe out powerful, prayerful thoughts with feeling and transform ourselves. And the ripple effects transforms others. So as we sit in this magnificent holy place, feeling the presence of oneness, knowing the power that is ours, we use it for good. We take a moment to ask for guidance, to be present and open to receive the powerful message. in the silence. And now as we take a breath of peace in and exhale love, we are grateful and thankful to Barbara, to Suzanne, Rebecca, and Tracy who reminded us that we take the formless and creatively form our messages to go into the world and spread the love and light that is the truth. And so it is. Amen. It will never let you down Listen, oh listen You are one with all around Power beyond imagination 
takes you where you want to go. So listen, and you'll find you are loved. Listen when your heart breaks. Feels like love has gone away. Taking with it all your hopes and dreams But it only feels that way The same faith that moves mountains Can also soothe away a tear So listen and you'll find To the wisdom of everyone who knows That greatness starts with a grateful heart And on and on it goes God will not hold it against you For mistakes along the way so listen, and you'll find you are loved. Listen to the music that needs no ear to hear. Angels are singing everywhere Spirit song so clear Whatever path you travel Your truth will guide the way So listen and you'll find Yes, you'll find you are loved. Listen. Thank you, Melba. What a journey. Yeah. And you did it. And you did it beautifully. And you did it as love. So keep listening. <laughs> that is such a powerful message. You know, um, I'm going to share here for a minute from someone who struggled communicating with their voice after a stroke and was able to come back with that powerful voice and be an example Because your inner power is what has brought you this far. And I know that. And a lot of help from a lot of people out there. <laughs> you 
you know, that support system. It's really important. But all of us go through challenges in life. And some of them are health related. And some of them are relationship related. And some of them are, are ego related. Right? And in all of it, we have this innate power that is located right here in our throat chakra. And it is the power that kings, and that's why the color for power is purple. Because, yeah, we got lots of power electronically. Because kings know their power, and it's ego-driven, normally, right? And so when we are in that ego space of domination and domineering and um, our personal control, and, and that, Y'all might not know this, but at one point in my life, I was very controlling. I'm the youngest child of four. And my mama says I was the bossiest one. Can you turn it back a little bit? Then maybe it'll be, oh, yeah, that's better. Um, mama always said I was the bossiest one. Because I like to exert my power. Didn't always serve me well. Um, created some conflict sometimes in my ego. Because I'm pretty stubborn too. I don't know if y'all know that about me. Um, I've learned that um, through the years that collaborating is, is usually a better way to be. Um, you know, you can plant seeds, right? And allow other people to grow because that also allows you to grow. And that's very powerful. And I like that better. And so as I've shifted and come into ministry, that has really worked for me. Because if I tried to control everything that went on, Lord help us, each and every one. Because it doesn't work. Because each of you have your own spiritual innate power. And we would bump heads, right? Some of you have experienced that in churches. And so, when we can do what one person in this congregation did, was take a thought, an idea, and speak it to others who worked together collaborating to take something from a formless idea into the manifestation of a magnet for us all to share out into the world to remind people of what's truly important in life, each other, and peace and love, that is using great power. And it's aligning our own being with the universe and Mother Earth. Because what you don't see written here is the changes that can occur on Mother Earth when we stop the destruction of ourselves and Mother Earth. Think how powerful we are when collectively we can transform not only ourselves, but the ripple effect of everyone else.
that's around us raising consciousness to the point that we not only heal ourselves, we heal each other, the world, and Mother Earth. Instead of using our power for destruction. Because that's the two polarities. We can use our power for good, or we can use our power for evil. Era thinking. So if you look at it in our body, the faculty of power rests, as I said, here, on the back of your tongue. And it's the vibrational energy that is powerful. So understand that. It is the vibrational energy that is powerful. And it is connected to your spinal cord, which, of course, we all know is the central nervous system connected where all of our powers run together from above our head at the IM to under our feet at Mother Earth. So there's this web of energy that is you. And the vibration that is in you is activated right here. Do you understand how powerful that is? How important that concept is? The activation of all of you is right here. It's what balances aligns you with your heart chakra, which is love and the 12 powers. It's what runs to your penal gland, which is faith. So think about it. When you're using this power with your heart, Sending it out into the world. How powerful is that? When you align yourself with love, as love, your whole being is love, and then you send it out and spread it. Now those of you that are singers, you get it. Because you understand how powerful this is. And... It is one of the concepts that I, that I feel has helped heal. It's a great healing power because it's all the vibration. So when you're using it and you're singing and you're harmonious with love, it just sends this electrifying energy through your whole being. And then... As we know, whatever is in us shows up outside of us in the same formality. So from the formless to the form. So this vibrational energy, thought, spoken, spreads. The same thing with faith. If we align ourselves, our words and thoughts, in our faith, without a doubt, there is no end to the possibilities that you can be and really are in truth. The only limits are the limits that you put through fear and doubt. So everyone... can learn to use this in a powerful way. One of the easiest ways that I know how to really start activating your vibrational power is through chanting. How many of you guys chant? Hmm, interesting. 
You guys might want to try it out. Are you willing? How many of you have ever owned? Okay. So just take a minute and everybody close your eyes so you won't feel silly. Or you can keep them open if you want to be really in your power. Take a deep breath in and then we're going to own together. Om. Again. Om. One more time. Did you feel the vibration? Do you understand the power that that is? Did you feel it all the way to your toes and fingers? Yeah. So, take time to sit and align your power. Open it up. Balance it with love. Feel it through chanting and, and just doing the om. You know, what was really funny is only a few of you raised your hand when I said, do you chant? But when I said, do you om, well, a bunch of hands went up. There's no difference. It's, it's the thought, because some of us were, thought, were told that chanting is not a good thing. And it's one of the best things that we can do. To really activate all of our energy centers and be in alignment. So be open to new ways of creating the formless into the form. Because that's what we can do with our power. There are no limits except with your doubt or your fears. So let go. And let God guide you into your power. I love you. I bless you. I see the Christ in each and every one of you. Thank you, Reverend Valerie. And I want to echo something she said earlier. I am so grateful beyond words for everyone here, and I know some who are not here, that uh, have prayed for me and encouraged me since what I, I call it the big detour, the stroke. <laughs> uh, so thank you so much. And playing guitar is something else I couldn't do for a while either, and now I'm back with this, so thank you, God.
need to be afraid Love is waiting there So rest assured your one true self Is in the best of care You wake up and realize You want to make some changes Where do you go from here? Well, things that don't need to stay Take away Maybe you've been hurt before And emotions are running high You put limits on yourself Without even asking why You wonder if it's worth the risk To leave your comfort zone But when you do God will gently remind you That you're already home You wake up and realize You want to make some changes Where do you go from here? Well, things that don't need to stay Take away Take away everything you thought you knew before Let spirit speak to you as you listen more and more Sometimes you have to say goodbye before you say hello Take a chance, join the dance just let go You wake up and realize You want to make some changes Where do you go from here? Well, things that don't need to stay Things that don't need to stay Things that don't need to stay Take away Take away, take away, thank you, you Melba. Thank you again, Melba. Not only are the words great, but the music is beautiful, and you did it all after a health challenge. So we're very impressed and happy to have you again. Thank you. Now it's time to take your offering in your hand, and we're going to do the, the regular collection first with the ushers bringing you the bags, and then after they're finished, then you can bring your hope and compassion a gift and put it in this basket up here. So let's say the blessing together. Divine love through me blesses and multiplies all that I am, all that I have, all that I give, and all that I receive. Thank you, God.
thank you, Holy Spirit. We are so grateful to be here together sharing with one another. And we are so grateful for all of these wonderful gifts that all of you have given from your heart. Thank you. Amen. Chaplains are here to pray with you. This is a chaplain right here, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> so other chaplains can come forward to also. There's one back there. I just saw a hand. Any more? Anybody? Anybody else? Okay. <laughs> Thank you, chaplains. We love you. And the magnet that Val talked about is back there in the basket right next to Charlie. He's waving his magic hand over at the top of the basket to show you where it is. And if you'd like a magnet or two or three to take out into the world with you, please leave a love offering and take as many as you'd like from the basket back there. Don't forget, because we really want to spread that beautiful message that's on the magnet. All right, now it's time to say, I believe the prayer for protection. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. The presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. And we'll join hands to sing the peace song. Now there is peace on earth. 